Welcome back to the newsroom. Nigeria on Tuesday recorded an improved ranking in the Corruption Perception Index, moving five places up to rank 145 out of 180 countries assessed. According to the latest Corruption Index released by Transparency International, TI, the country also gained one point to add to its previous 24, ending up scoring 25 out of the 100 maximum points in the 2023 CPI result, apart from moving five places up from its 150th position. Arguably the most widely used cor global corruption ranking in the world, the CPI measures how corrupt each country's public sector is perceived to be. And Governor Diko Rado of Katsina State on Monday donated the sum of 100,000 naira each to of the 35 persons rescued by troops of the Nigerian army for them to revive their normal business when they arrive home. The victims kidnapped by armed bandits at the Tashao Nagule and the Nauta villages in Batsari local government area of the state were said to have been rescued at the Dumburu forest after an intensive gun battle between the soldiers and the bandits. The governor, while receiving the victims, thanked God for rescuing them without any casualty from the security operatives or from the abducted civilians. And in Zamfara State, Governor Dauda Lawal has declared the state of emergency in the health sector with a commitment to revamping the state's health care system. In a statewide broadcast on Tuesday, the governor lamented the disturbing conditions of the hospitals across Zamfara. The declaration came after his unscheduled visit to Gusau General Hospital in the state's capital. According to him, the hospitals needed urgent intervention due to the poor state of facilities, equipment and workers. As a result, a state of emergency was declared in the sector. And the governors of Sokoto State, Amadou Baliu, and Ninja State, Mohamed Omar Bago, have visited the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security headquarters in Abuja, seeking the support of the federal government to enhance food production in their respective states. During their separate visit, the governors outlined their plans to improve food production in the face of challenges affecting farming activities. The governor's visits were, not, were met with positive remarks from the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Abubakar Kiyari, who expressed optimism for future possibilities and stressed the need for collaboration between state and the federal government to ensure food security and agricultural development in Nigeria. And on business, consumers in December 2023 experienced a spike in the average retail prices of kerosene, reaching 1,362 naira 27 kobo per litre nationwide. This marked a 5.84% increase compared to the 1,287 naira 10 kobo recorded in November 2023. The latest report of the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, MBS, obtained on Tuesday indicates a year-on-year -year basis the surge amount amounted to 23.33%, climbing from 1,104 naira 61 kobo in December 2022. And on the foreign scene, the British Secretary of State for Foreign Af Commonwealth and Development Affairs, David Cameron, has said the United Kingdom has a responsibility of recognizing a Palestinian state. Cameron made this known to the Conservative Middle East Council as he urged Israel to allow more humanitarian support into Gaza. He said the Palestinian people would have to show irresistible progress towards a two-state solution. And on sport, Alazan Yusuf says he's in fine shape again following his injury struggle at the start of the ongoing 2023 Africa Cup of Nations in Côte d'Ivoire. The Royal Antwerp star missed the Super Eagles remaining two group games against Côte d'Ivoire and Guinea-Bissau as a result of the setback. The midfielder, however, returned to the bench for Nigeria's round of 16 tie with Cameroon. The Super Eagles will be up against the Blanc Antelopes of Angola in their quarter-final tie at the Felix Ufet Baoni Stadium, Abidjan, on Friday. And that's it on the newsroom at this moment. Many thanks for joining us. I'm Okwayemi Owoshini. Bye for now.